Shalom Christian Fellowship is a place where people come together to praise, pray, and fellowship within the Spirit of the Lord. It was established in 2014 by a small group of people and since then has grown into quite a large church. Though it has had its ups and downs, it continues to strive to grow even bigger and to share the word with many people across this nation. To others, it may seem like it only takes one person to make it work, but in actuality, it takes a large group of people, and these people are the leaders of the church who are appointed every year as they are also students of the university, a lovely professional university, which is adjacent to the church. In this documentary, I interview a few of the leaders to get a clearer and better picture of what they actually do to make the church better. Okay, so the responsibilities within my department is to ensure that every leader and every department operates as it should be. And also, I'm supposed to host meetings as the chairman of the church and make sure that each and everything goes well within every service, as well as draw the preaching list for various people who are going to preach on each and every Sunday and ensure new policies and make sure that they run effectively as they are supposed to be. Okay, basically, I'm an assistant, so I assist him in all the other rooms he mentioned. When he's not around, I'm supposed to stand in the gap for him. Also, when new policies are made, I'm supposed to communicate it to the leaders as well. So, basically, that's what I do. Okay, so to start with, um, the programs for the entity department is mainly about bringing up programs. And in a program, we, um, we draw up program pass lines for any event which is organized by the service. And also, we make sure like we allot time to every item on the program on time too, so that um, there's a well-organized program at the end. And we also make sure that the beginning and the ending of the program is adhered to, so that we don't find it um, disorganized, like people don't find discomfort in an event which is being organized. In. Yeah. Yeah. So. To add to what my partner just said, we also make sure the environment is organized and conducive for every program. Different programs come with different kinds of arrangements in the environment. So if we need to arrange chairs in a certain pattern for the program, we make sure that is done on time. And then we also make sure our people come on time. We obey to the time, like being responsive to time. And then we also draw our programs in consultation with the chairperson who verifies whatever that's um, supposed to be done before the program starts.
what we want to achieve is to make sure that the word of God moves into people. That not only should it be within their hearts, but then it should grow to impact their lives as they move. We hope that by the time our tenure of office is over, we'll be able to have a, a much more or much more audience outside so that even if you're having a digital service, we'll still be able to stream online and then we'll have people to interact with our services and know what they're doing. We want to see a positive growth in the programs department in the sense that we will raise our potential from individuals to anchor a service or a program. We look forward to bringing more creativity into our programs. What I really want in my academic department, I want people to grow more spiritually. Not that people are not spiritually, but to also get connected into prayer because I believe as an Asha, we also need to pray not only physically, but we also have to pray spiritually. So I'm trying my own ways to draw people closer so that they can be connected. So that even when I'm not around, they're able to stand and intercede for the church. We want to build a church, the structure of the church. We want to get a permanent place whereby we come together and we fellowship as Christians, as members of the body of Christ, and also that to get people, the members, more and more in tune with God. The most difficult parts I'm facing attendance when it comes to fulfilling the duties of an usher. It's very, very difficult for everybody to participate when it's Wednesday's cleaning and some other fellowships. It's so, so hard because we are students. So people send priorities and it's not much like they think that they have to give more to coming to church or giving by Easterly time. So actually it's the time and the commitment. So with the congregation, it's almost the same thing. Like people will not come to time. Okay, so right now our main report is um, getting information from the leadership in order to make the steps of others to share in our social media. And also, we do not have much followers in our various um, social media handles. There's been a drastic change and now there are more members 
anticipated for. So far, uh, we've not we've not had a lot, but we've been able to accomplish just a few. I'll start with um, um, during the summertime, we we realized that whoever the amounts the public finds gets difficult after an intense teaching and teaching. So the person is gets dehydrated, so we we made it a point to um, provide for whoever that's hand in hand with the bottled water. Yeah, so at the end of the program or at the end or during the service, he or she can take it when it feels like drinking water. So far, it's been a success. Thanks to my friend, who has been yes, and then also we to be able to bring the word aerobics and I believe or we believe that as much as we need to be strong in spirit we need to also be healthy and strong in our bodies so we brought it up and then so far even though difficulties bringing people you know on time right being successful we success we give glory to God for seeing us give us back thank you okay most important thing, like I said, from our goals is to make sure that we plant seeds in people's lives. So I think our greatest achievement is our ability to plant seeds in people's lives. Of course, we face a lot of difficulties, but our ability as a team to just hold hands, to communicate effectively, to make sure that we're able to plant seeds in people's lives, and we've managed to edify that planting through the different things that we're now doing, through the prayers. We've introduced something different in church, you know, so that as people are studying the word of God, they understand that Christianity is not all, that Christianity has joy, Christianity has enjoyment, but then you just need to realize the potential that you have to enjoy, but then within the scope of Christianity. So I should say those have been our greatest achievement, and yeah, our communication and togetherness should reflect through our works that we are one of the best teams to be. After interviewing the available leaders, it became very clear that they do face quite a lot of difficulties and challenges as leaders. But as their achievements have shown, they do work their absolute best to achieve these goals. For example, they started the monthly workouts and jogging aerobic sessions. They also make it a point to prioritize their members and to make sure that they're shown and active within the church by doing activities such as Bible study quizzes, by starting talent shows as well, and inviting people to act and do poetry and be a part of drama sessions. This group of people work their absolute best and their hardest to achieve these goals while making sure that their ultimate goal is to bring people closer to God and to make sure that we fellowship together as people, as a family. I believe that these group of people, these leaders, will achieve all their goals and all their targets within that semester.